Hi, Michael Crow here. Um, I just wanted to spend a few minutes with uh, all of you about this moment in time. You know where we are, what we're doing, where we're headed. We have several things going on at the same time as we continue to evolve the university. Uh, we have this unbelievable moment to uh, make great strides in uh, social justice, social justice attainment, what I call the social justice coefficient. How do we move all of our institutions to being more just, more fair, more equal? Uh, how do we make all those things happen? And then uh, we have all of this going on in the middle of uh, where we are now, uh, the day that I'm putting this uh, video together, uh, this uh, pandemic, which is... Uh, emblematic of the complexities that we're facing right now uh, globally, but also emblematic of the complexities that lie ahead. That is the kinds of things that in a world of seven and a half, eight, nine, ten billion 10 billion people uh, uh, are going to be not commonplace, but are going to be something that we're going to have to deal with. So we have unbelievable uh, complexity, uh, which can lead to unbelievable opportunity. Uh, and in all of that, I want to lay down sort of what we're doing. So the slide I have up on the screen is this notion that uh, many of you have seen in the past about uh, ASU's evolution uh, toward the year 2025, five years from now, uh, towards being this exemplar new American university. And what we mean by new American university is this notion of this institution focused on building from the American foundation up those things that we uh, share as ideals, as aspirational ideals, ultimately being manifested in the actual structure and design of our institution itself. We've been at this for some time. We have what I call a derived charter. Our charter is uh, a powerful uh, a communication about who we want to be as an institution, who we are as an institution. It's built around this central notion of the fact that we are a comprehensive public research university. Comprehensive means all subjects, public, that's who we serve. Research, that is our method. That is the modality, the, the pedagogical design of the institution. We are creators, discoverers, we build that into everything that we do, and that's a hallmark of differentiation uh, from uh, uh, us and uh, other institutions who move down this path of inclusion. Our success of our institution will not be based on who we exclude, but who we include and ultimately how they succeed. Uh, this has become a mantra at ASU, who we include and how they succeed. And that means finding a way to uh, engage the totality of our society and uh, students from every background uh, imaginable. When we do research, we do research of public value. That is, we're not interested only in the academic outcome, we're interested in the impact on the public itself. And then I think hugely and uh, very, very importantly is this notion of taking responsibility, the word that I'm putting in the square right there, taking responsibility for the economic, social, cultural, and overall health and well being of the communities that we serve. When you start thinking that way, when you start thinking that you're inclusive, inclusive versus exclusive, when you start thinking that your research and discovery must be of public value, and when you start taking responsibility for social outcomes and human welfare outcomes and uh, you know, the fact that we live in this moment of intense need for uh, a scientific understanding and our population doesn't have sufficient scientific understanding at the level that's needed to deal with the kinds of complexities that lie ahead. Those are things that we need to take responsibility for. That is our charter. Now, to attain this charter, that is to attain these aspirations, uh, we are very much driven by a series of goals. Uh, there are four categories of goals that are really, really important. First and most importantly is to demonstrate leadership in the nation for combining academic excellence and accessibility into the same institution. The historic model has been you can be one or the other. You can be this intense research university with unbelievable faculty and unbelievable academic excellence uh, uh, and then have only a student body coming from the highest income levels or only coming from the highest ability levels or perceived ability levels coming out of high school. Uh, or you can be an institution which is generally accessible to the broader population, but you can't do those two things together. Our fundamental objective in the 18 years that we've got thus far advancing this model and the next five years that we are advancing the model is to demonstrate leadership in that. To do that, in the second goal, we have to establish national standing and academic quality. That means then that it is essential to the model of our institution that academic quality be ultimately the foundational underpinning of the success of the institution. High academic quality in all of our programs committed to the totality of the diversity of our population. 
Uh, the fourth goal here is what we call, uh, it's our research and discovery oriented goal, and it's to become a global center for interdisciplinary research, discovery and development. And what I mean by that, you know, one of the best places on the planet where disciplinary walls uh, are permeable, not that disciplines don't exist, but where disciplinary walls are permeable. That means building new schools, making things happen. And then I think just as important is this notion of the university having local impact. So let's look at some of these goals category by category. And I'm just going to walk through a few, a few of these, not all of them. Take a look at this at your leisure. Many of you have uh, already received the document that uh, this presentation is built around at least once, if not a hundred times, because it's uh, essential to where we're going. But there's several things in this notion of how you demonstrate leadership and academic excellence and accessibility that are really important. First, we maintain the principle of accessibility to all students qualified to study at a research university. That is, we determine what are the qualifications necessary to be able to enter the university, to be, to be uh, uh, engaged in the university in a positive and constructive way, and we will grow or adapt or modify ourselves to be able to take uh, all of those students, to address all of that demand, to be accessible. Secondly, and I think unbelievably importantly, and something that I think uh, really is uh, uh, from a, the perspective of, of uh, who we are, uh, absolutely essential, and that is maintaining university accessibility to match Arizona's socioeconomic diversity, in fact, the country's socioeconomic diversity. Now, what that means then, and once we started doing this, and it took us 10 years to be able to get this and achieve it, we now have a student body which is representative of every family background, every family income circumstance, every family situation, every personal situation imaginable. That then has given us an unbelievably ethnic, ethnically diverse student body also, and a goal. So we've attained that in terms of student body. What we haven't attained is this one right here, undifferentiated outcomes. That means then that coming into the university uh, is one thing, leaving the university is another thing successfully. And we need to move to the point where we have undifferentiated outcomes from all the students that, uh, have, that we've brought to the institution itself. We've made huge progress here. We're continuing to make huge progress here, but this is essential. High levels of freshman uh, retention, high levels of graduation, large numbers of diverse degrees, lowering the cost to a degree, finding a way to take students who can't be here with us. So something we've decided fundamentally as an institution is that it's really important for us to be able to project out to others, people who didn't finish college, people who weren't able to go to college, people who didn't find the pathway to go to college at the right time, people who are in their 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s and now want to go back and fulfill their life in a new way through an educational experience with us. We want to be able to project out. Uh, we're about seven tenths of the way to that goal right now, about 70,000 online degree seeking students. And so this is uh, really, really uh, important for us. And then this last thing in gold down here, engage all learners on all levels. And I'll speak a little bit about that in a, in a second. What I mean by that is we have tremendous assets, tremendous faculty, tremendous staff, tremendous library, tremendous everything you can imagine. How do we now make all of those assets available to any learner that wants to engage, any person that wants to learn. So this is a big new thing for us going forward. I won't spend a lot of time on this other than to suggest that it's really important that we attain national standing in the learning value added to our graduates in each college or school. We think that we've done that. We think we've made a lot of progress towards that. Uh, we uh, uh, attain national standing. Our, our departments, our schools, our programs are all high performing, highly ranked. Uh, in their individual fields and their individual disciplines. This just goes to the notion that at the core of the university and anything that we do must be academic excellence. Uh, we're not a purveyor of other people's work. We're a purveyor of our work, our analysis, our creativity, our discovery, our pedagogy matched with the work of others. That is, we're a part of the process of creativity itself. This notion of creating a global center for interdisciplinary interdisciplinary research discovery and de development, interdisciplinarity, this is really important for us because we think that many of the problems that we face, um, uh, poor or incomplete or socially inadequate models of criminal justice, uh, models that we have about social justice, models that we have about science education, models that we have about uh, community resilience, uh, ideas that we have about adapting to uh, climate variability, climate change, uh, ideas that we have about the fundamental workings of the universe, uh, the notion of resource, resource acquisition. I won't go through the whole list. Uh, all the things that we have, we think that those are likely to be um, uh, 
uh, more rapidly addressed in interdisciplinary uh, modalities. And so we need strong disciplines. We need strong uh, uh, transdisciplinary units and schools. And we have dozens and dozens of those that we've created. And we need uh, the ability for free movement of ideas between and among all of these things. So that's what this is all about. How do we figure out how to do that? How do we help also to transform the regional economy, make it more modern, more, more uh, egalitarian, more uh, built around uh, what we call the uh, universal learner, the person that's out there in the workforce that just needs to learn all the time? How do we make all of those things happen? This notion of local impact and social embeddedness, this is kind of an ASU thing where we believe that what we need to do is to really lay a foundation for what we say here, strengthening our interactive network of teaching, learning, and discovery resources to help underpin the emergence of the next economy. Um, and, and, you know, lots of universities do this. Uh, we make this a central theme, a central objective. Uh, we think that we need to work with others to do what we call uh, develop solutions in important social, technical, cultural, and environmental issues of the 21st century. We're not just going to be able to sit back and let these things just evolve and move off in any direction. We've got to really find a way to co-develop these solutions with others. We have our new resilience network that we're working on in Maricopa County, one of the five most populated counties here in the United States. And then I think very, very importantly is this notion of 21st century learners. We think learner learning is a lifelong thing. So we trademarked this term here, universal learner. And our idea is the notion that we'll take all the assets that we have and all the other assets that we can find from others that we think have merit, and we'll find a way to make those available to any learner anywhere, anytime in their life in the most efficient and effective way that we possibly can. This is a huge, huge undertaking for us. Uh, and we think that it will help us in this accelerated socio-technical world that we're living in. So we have what we call design aspirations, and these are, uh, within the context of our goals, just things that we're trying to do. So in a sense, our charter, which you saw earlier, is our overall cultural aspiration, that which we, we, which we wish, wish to be uh, more inclusive, more impactful, more responsible. These design aspirations tell us what's important in the design of our institution. One of the things that's gone on in the design of colleges and universities is that many of them look just like each other from a design perspective. We're trying to differentiate. We think that our place is really, really important, leveraging our place, being here in Arizona with our cultural and socioeconomic and physical and, and uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable setting, leveraging our place, transforming society. We take that on as a goal of the institution. Uh, can we catalyze social change by being connected to social needs? Can we help build a more equitable society? Can we help build uh, new models for social justice? Can we make those things happen? Uh, I won't walk through all of these, but I will say here is one that's very important to us because we call it fusing intellectual disciplines. This is where we believe that we can be uh, uh, powerfully uh, engaged by by linking disciplines together in new ways to create new solutions. This one here that we call enable student success. What we mean by this is that even in a large, diverse, complicated institution with 20 colleges and hundreds of academic degree programs and hundreds of departments and schools and so forth, we're committed to the success of each unique student. And that has meant in the way that we've evolved the university, further movement of the university towards this notion of, of empowering the individual, individualized learning, uh, individualized learning processes, technology enhanced learning to the individual, all kinds of things, whatever works. So overall, what we're trying to do here is to just express uh, where we're going with our vision and what we call our uh, vision and goals. Uh, this is our charter, our design aspirations and our specific goals. And I wanted to give you this video just as a backup to this particular document that we're sending out. I welcome, as always, as you can see from uh, the uh, addresses here, as much input uh, as you can get to me, uh, as many uh, ideas that you can get to me. Um, these are places to engage with all of this material, but also to get to me directly. It's uh, michael.crow at asu.edu. How do we move this idea forward? How do we advance this idea more quickly? How do we build the new American university to be most responsive to what America needs going forward? And we've been doing that. We have the right platform for doing that. We're moving in the right direction. And I just wanted to bring you up to speed on, on where we were. Thanks.